Question. What is Q-point geometry? Answer. Simply put, it is the breaking down of the continuous motion of a vinyl's Q-point marker into geometric positions. The following diagram entitled, Vortex Clock Q-point Mechanics, is a table of 12 skipless record Q-point positions over a period of 4 bars. We've all seen a digital or physical vinyl Q-point move in the normal clockwise motion that means the record is playing forward. In this 12 by 16 matrix of Q points, each column contains the first 16 Q point positions generated by count, or quarter note, of each skipless vinyl speed in what's known as a stroboscopic movement. Another way of thinking about this is that the table represents 12 record speeds as they transition over 16 counts, or head nods. So imagine you're in a pitch black room with a strobe light that turned on every time you nodded to the beat of a skip proof record you'd see the Q-point move in the predictable patterns depicted in the diagram. Each column depicts only the speed that is labeled at the top starting with the circle that represents 33 and 1 3rd BPM all the way to the 12-sided dodecagon that represents 400 BPM at normal speed. It's important to note that this chart does not portray what happens when these 12 record types are lined up against each other in real time. So if a person had 12 skip proof, skipless, records and pressed play on all of them at the same time, the cue points would not look like this since a musical count is relative to the speed of each record. I'll make a synchronized diagram in the future. It's for this reason that the slowest speeds appear to have a cue point that is traveling around the record faster than the faster speeds that appear to take longer for them to travel around the vinyl. Yet in reality, the faster BPM records have faster counts so there are more head nods in one rotation of the record than in the slower BPMs. Below are the first 12 skipless speeds depicted in the diagram. 1. Circle equals 45 BPM, at 45 RPM, equals 33.3 BPM, at 33.3 RPM, 2. Semicircle equals 90 BPM, at 45 equals 66.66 BPM, at 33.3, 3, equilateral triangle equals 135 BPM, at 45, equals 100 BPM, at 33.3, 4, square equals 180 BPM, at 45, equals 133.33 BPM, at 33.3, 5, Pentagon equals 225 BPM, at 45, equals 166.66 BPM, at 33.3, 6, Hexagon equals 270 BPM, at 45, equals 200 BPM, at 33.3, 7, Heptagon equals 315 BPM, at 45, equal 233.3 BPM, at 33.3, 8, octagon equals 360 BPM, at 45, equals 266.66 BPM, at 33.3, 9, nonagon equals 405 BPM, at 45, equals 300 BPM, at 33.3, 10, Decagon equals 450 BPM, at 45, equals 333.3 BPM, at 33.3, 11, Han Decagon equals 495 BPM, at 45, equals 366.6 BPM, at 3, 3.3, 12, the Decagon equals 540 BPM, at 45, equals 400 BPM, at 33.3. Furthermore, geometry can help us predict and master the rotational motion of the record's cue point. Skip proof, skipless, records have perfect geometric shapes that each maintain their own unique speed where each count can represent one side of the shape. Thus increasing the number of sides of a shape charted within the record increases the speed of the counts. What's also interesting is that only the first four speeds complete a full Q-point rotation within one bar, 33 and 1 3rd BPM, 66 and 2 3rd BPM, 100 BPM and 133 and 1 3rd BPM. So far, most skip-proof battle records have only used these first four skip-proof speeds historically.
It's for this reason that this lecture and work is also a preparatory study for the TTM-21 speed skipless battle record that is coming soon.